Hello everyone, Laura here. So glad you're joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the March release blog hop with Alta New. And I have a couple of projects to share with you using some of my favorite new goodies from the release, starting with this gorgeous Doodle Dot cover die. And I'm gonna die cut that into this panel, but before I do, I thought I'd give a little pan the panel a little love with some ink blending. So I'm starting with some of my favorite colors lately. Um, I love how the Alta New inks come in sets of four because it's wonderful to have four tones of each color family. It's great for multi-step stamping. It's also wonderful for a nice gradient ink blend, which is what I'm doing now here. So the darkest color is Teal Cave, then Aqualicious, and then I top it off with a little dew drops. Now I'll flip it over on the other side and do some green tones. So I'm starting with just green. Sweet Leaf, and the lightest one, my fave, Minty Mint. Nothing like a little Minty Mint with just a hint of dark chocolate, and you got magic right there. So I'm gonna run this panel through with the Doodle Dots cover die, cut it like butter, and then I put a bunch of foam tape on the back and popping this up on a white card base. It looks beautiful with the shadows and the dimension. Now for the sentiment, I have this thanks die, which is from the script words two die set. And I'm gonna die cut about four or maybe five of these and stack them up. I'm gonna adhere them together using spray adhesive. The other day I was cleaning, purging. I threw away, accidentally I threw away every single one of my empty boxes and I needed to save at least one to use for spray adhesive. So when I had to do spray adhesive today, I thought, what am I gonna spray into? So I went rummaging through the cupboard and I found an empty box of Gardettos. I buy the kids a little snack size chips and whatnot pretzels for their lunches and snacks. And have you ever tried Gardettos? If you haven't, you're missing out because they are pretty darn good. And now I'm gonna emboss a coordinating sentiment. The sentiment is from another new stamp set. You can see it right there on the left. That's the cross stitched flower stamp set, which is beautiful, by the way. I'm gonna be using that on my second card, but it also has some really great um, sentiments that coordinate well with this thanks die. So now I spray a little adhesive on the back of the thanks, adhering that down, popping up the coordinating sentiment. Then to finish it off, adhering a few little sequins and coordinating colors here and there. These are by Lucy's Little Things. Actually, I think it's called Little Things from Lucy. Either way you say it, potato, potato. She has the most beautiful embellishments. If you haven't checked out her shop, please do. So you can also buy several of her products in the Simon's Stamp shop as well. Now I'm moving on to the second card, which feature, features the cross-stitched flower stamp set. And this is one of those multi-step stamping sets. So I started with the stem. And I inked up the first part with Sweet Leaf and then the lighter with Minty Mint. Now I'm moving on to the Bloom, which actually has four steps. I'm using the Tea Party ink set for this one. So the darkest color is Vineyard Berry. Now I'm stamping with Heartbeat. And I know you probably think this is intimidating to line this up, but it's actually easier than you think. It has that bit of cross stitch pattern. Now I'm using Coral Bliss. And what I love the most is on the back of the Alta New packaging, it has it lined out for you step by step, and it gives you an example of what it should look like. And I rely on that so much, you'd be surprised. Now, I took a little few images from the stamps. I think they're actually meant to be used to build a butterfly, but I am using them to add a little bit of darkness to the stem. I felt like it just needed a little something something. So I'm kind of breaking the rules here, but there's really no... There's no stamp set police out there. You can use any image however you want to do it. Now I'm actually using that same image that I used on the stem, and now I'm actually building a butterfly. Now I'm not using it on this card, but there is a coordinating die that goes along with this cross stitch flower. If you want to get real fancy schmancy, you can die cut it and makes little holes that allows you to add some stitching. Very cool. Now for the sentiment, I'm using another new Alpha die set, this is called the flat and fold alpha die set. This is so cool. It actually die cuts half of the letter so that you fold it over to create the full letter. So I'm gonna die cut right into this cross stitched 
stamped panel, I'm spelling out the word hello. So I've just got the H-E-L, going to do one pass. You'll see how it die cuts half the letter, except for the L. That actually die cuts the full letter. And then um, I wasn't sure if I was making a mistake by die cutting this right into my panel. But I thought, you know what? Sometimes you just got to take a risk. You never know unless you try. And sometimes it's a flop. I'm not going to lie. And then other times it's a great success. So I'm taking a risk right here. Now I'm die cutting the second L and that last little half, half moon type of a shape, which turns into an O. Now I'm folding over these half letters, if you will. I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. It's really handy to have a bone folder. Helps you make that crease. And if you need a little help, once you fold these over, put something heavy on it and let it sit for a while so it really gets those letters folded over and to lay flat. Or you could put a little adhesive on them if you want to do it that way. I just put something heavy on it and let it sit for a while. This is so cool. It's really modern and kind of unexpected. So then what I'm going to do is pop this panel up onto a white card base. Put some foam tape on the back. And popping that panel up. Now I went off camera and embossed a coordinating sentiment. This is from the cross stitched flower stamp set and this card is finished. She's a beauty. You got to check out the March release and the rest of the blog hop. I'm sure your mind is going to be blown. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.